Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy and inside of this box is some new filament from iBoss. It is part of the Artism Series 2 and this is their Ribbons PLA. Now these are silk filaments. They sent me over a sample box. It contains five of their colors from this series and if you're interested in them I'll leave a link below in the description and then they also make this filament dryer called the Polyphemus filament dryer that I also checked out previously. I still use it. I still think it's good. There will be a link to that video and the product in the description as well. So let's check out what they have in store for us. Now first of all inside of this sample box I thought this was pretty cool. They've got these outlets here so that you can pull each filament through here and I guess you can just print directly from this box without having to take all the filament out individually. I thought that was pretty clever. So a little extra use for the box. And what this filament is, it's part of the ribbons PLA and it literally, it looks like different colors of ribbon. So let's see what colors we have here. So the first one is going to be black, blue, and purple. And as you can probably see there, there's different color changes throughout the filament. So hopefully once we get some stuff printed out, it'll be in a few different colors and it'll look like ribbon. Uh, next, this is the blue, silver, and white. Ooh, this next one is really ribbony. This is the pink, black, and white. Next, ooh, even more colorful. This is the red, yellow, and blue variety. And last but not least is the blue green ribbon PLA. Now, if you want this sample box, each of these spools are like 200 grams. So you're not gonna be able to print huge things with this, but you can get all five of these. I'm looking on their website for $30 right now. That's the price for all of this. But then they also sell each of these in the regular larger one kilogram spools that you can also get. And they are selling those for $27. So those are the current prices. But I need to figure out what I wanna print with these. And this is silk filament, so it should look nice and shiny and cool. So I'm gonna come up with some models to print and then we'll take a look at how everything turned out. Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention, the printing speed they have listed on this filament is between 50 and 300 millimeters per second. So it's good for high speed printing. All right, so I got some things printed out and I wanted to show you what the filament actually looks like, you know, outside of the plastic because this, this is pretty interesting. It's really, really cool. So the thing about this filament is it's not like a gradient. It doesn't change over time. Each side has a different color. So you can probably see the red and a little bit of the blue right there. And then you see that? So on each side of the filament, there is a different color. And when you start printing with it, all those colors just sort of meld together and it makes that really cool looking ribbon pattern. Uh, I haven't seen a filament do that before. Now I'm not saying that there aren't any other filaments that do the exact same thing, but this is the first time that I've seen a filament that has different colors on each side of the strand. So you're always going to be getting a multicolor effect and it's not gonna be something where you'll have uh, only one section be one color and you have to build it up in order to see the next one. It's always going to be there. So let's take a look at some prints. So the first one that I did was from this red, yellow, and blue spool. And I decided to print myself out a Pokeball. I've been printing a lot of Pokeballs lately because they're just so easy to print and they're fun. So take a look at the colors on this thing. It printed perfectly the very first time. Please excuse the seam right there in the front. I was supposed to put it in the back. I forgot to change that setting on the slicer, but everything up here on top is from this particular filament. And man, that ribbon pattern is just so cool looking. Awesome. And it is, it does have that somewhat shiny look to it that's uh, very typical of a silk filament. And it came out very nice, very smooth. All right, so that's the Pokeball. Um, so the next thing that I wanted to print out, um, I thought it'd be cool to have like a multicolor 3D printed bracelet. And I tried to do this with the filament that's got the pink and the black and the white in it. 
and I ended up printing this out. But the problem with this is you don't really see the color change. And so that means like when you look at it on the side, you might see a little bit of some color variances, but not too much. So when you are printing with this, it does work best if you're going to be you know, printing something that's got more layers, that's going to be a bit taller so that you can really see all of those colors. But uh, in this little bracelet example, it did not work out that way. And also silk filament is not the strongest thing in the world. So when you print stuff with this, it's pretty much going to be for things that have a more of an aesthetic look to them as opposed to being something that's functional. However, with this particular bracelet, it does have these individual links and I can bend these links without them just completely snapping. So that is cool. I can't put this on my wrist. It is uh, too small, but it does clamp together. All right. Just like that. So, you know, this is something that's small enough for like one of my kids. And maybe I'll do that. I'll give this to them. But it does go together. Uh, but just make sure that you're printing something that is a bit taller. So for the next round of colors, I decided to put on a little hat fashion show using one of my big bricks figures, Mr. JT Brickman. Check it out. So as you saw there, that ribbon effect is prevalent across all five rolls of filament. I do think for the lighter colors like this one here, it really stands out more than some of the darker colors. Although you can still see the differences in the different colors of the lines on all of the hats. It just stands out more when it's a brighter color involved. Um, and printing with this, I printed everything on the Flash Forge Adventurer 5M Pro and it was really easy to print. I only had one failure and that's when I tried to print this model of uh, DNA strands and it was going pretty well for the most part, but it did, I did put supports on it cause I didn't think that the bridging would make a clean uh, gap because there were plenty of gaps and the creator said it didn't need support. So I tried to put tree supports in there. And again, silk filament is not strong. So I got some breakage there. So unfortunately the DNA strand did not work out the way that I wanted to. It did finish printing, but it was basically just kind of falling apart at the very base. Um, probably could have just glued the whole thing together, but it didn't work out. So, but everything else did work out and it worked out just fine. If you're looking for settings for this particular type of silk filament using the uh, Flash Forge Adventure 5M Pro, I just use the generic silk profile that's built into Orca Slicer just as a baseline to see how things would go. And if I felt that I needed to change anything, then I would do it from there. But fortunately, I didn't need to change anything. So the regular silk profile is very similar to the PLA profile. There's just some little slight differences, I believe, with like volumetric speed. But then again, this filament is a high speed silk filament, but the default just worked fine. It worked perfectly. Um, but if you don't have that printer, um, I'm going to put something up on the screen from Orca Slicer. I'll scroll through some of the settings so that you can take a look at those. And if you want to try out some fil some silk filament using those settings, you can just copy them over and see if it works out for you. So all in all, I think this is a really fun filament for printing decorative things. You want to print vases, you want to print toys, like some flexi stuff. That's really, really popular stuff that you can, you know, give to the kids or whatever. I think this is a great filament. These colors are just really, really nice. They go well together. They complement each other well. And I just love how it looks when it's printing. All three of those colors are just melding together all at one time. And, uh, 
uh, it is a really cool filament to try. And I was already planning on trying some silk filaments since I haven't uh, been doing that a lot lately. And these just so happen to come in and they're silk. So the timing was perfect. But anyway, I am gonna leave links in the description to where you can find these filaments. And again, if you want the whole sample thing right now, it's around 30 bucks for all the samples and then 27 for each individual roll. So that is it for now. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And remember, you want to see more 3D printed related videos like this one and others. Be sure to subscribe because I always have some more coming, some videos that are going to be coming up in the future that I'm particularly excited about. And I can't wait to share more with you when that time comes. So until then, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.